Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss about a financial function called as yield. Before we implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this function means with some definition and some simple example in Excel. Here we have some explanation on what is a yield. Yield refers to the earnings generated and realized on an investment over a particular period of time. It's expressed as a percentage based on the invested amount, current market value, or face value of the security. It includes the interest earned or dividends received from holding a particular security. Let's not get into all the details of the concepts, but go to Excel and then try to learn this function. Let's say person X purchases a bond which has a face value of $100 at a price of $95 and coupon rate of 6%. The purchase date being Jan 2020 and maturity date is Jan 2030. Let's try to calculate the yield. So Excel comes with a built-in function called as yield. So it takes seven parameter and the last one is optional. So the settlement. So this is the purchase date of the bond. So I have Jan 1st, 2020. So I'm gonna select this. And the maturity date, that is maturity bond maturity date, that is Jan 1st, 2030. And the rate is the coupon rate, 6%, okay? And the purchase price is $95. And redemption, that's the face value of the bond, $100. And we have options for coupon payment. Let's say the interest is paid annually. I'm gonna select one. And the last one, last parameter, I'm gonna leave as it is and ignore it for now. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now we have a bond rate of or yield of 6.702 percentage. So this is how we calculate yield in Excel. Now let's go to PBI and try to do the same calculation. And before we do that, let's quickly look at the syntax. So here we have the syntax. Again, it's exactly the same. We have uh, six parameter here, and the last one being optional. So settlement is the purchase date, maturity is the maturity date, and rate is a coupon rate, and the purchase price, and redemption, that is the face value, and the frequency, and the last one is optional. So let's quickly go to PBI and then try to implement this function. So I have this sample data set here. We have purchase date, maturity date, face value, purchase price, number of years to maturity, and coupon rate. So now let's go to the report, and then I have created a simple table here, which has all the information. And now let's create a new measure, and call this as yield equal to, Power BI also has a built-in function here, Okay, so I think I already created this measure. Let's go here. Okay, so I have it here. So yield and the settlement is the purchase date. So I need to use selected value function, the purchase date and maturity date is the maturity date from this table and then the coupon rate coupon rate here and the purchase price I have the purchase price here and redemption that is my face value and then Let's say the payment is made once in a year, that's annual. So the last one is optional. I'm gonna ignore this for now. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And now let me change this to percentage. And then 
I have it here. So let me increase this to two decimal points. 6.70. This is exactly what we got in Excel. And this is how we calculate yield in Power BI. And hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends or colleagues. Okay, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.